Hi guys, Brent here, and today I'm here to help you with how to run Dead by Daylight better on PC. There's some things that you can adjust that are outside of the menus, because if you look at the graphical menu inside of game, it's not very robust. Uh, quality, high, low, that's basically it. It's, it's very, very blanket with the decisions that it gives you. It, a lot of other games in other games give you a lot, lot more options when it comes to specifics, where it comes to like view distance and stuff like that. DBD in-game has just like high, low, it's, it's very bare bones. So we're going to show you how you can adjust those things to get more out of your Dead by Daylight experience to make your game run smoother because this game um, doesn't run smooth most of the time. So <laughs> hopefully I can help you uh, make your game run a little bit better, friendo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be doing is opening your C drive. Opening your C drive, your local disk C. Go to users. You want to go to users up here. Go to users. Go to whatever your name is, whatever, you know, you're logged in as. For me, it's the Mr. because the Mr. Headache. Go to app data. Go to app data. This fo this folder, you notice it's a, probably a little grayed out for you. Uh, this is because this file may be hidden for you. Uh, it probably won't be, but in, just in the case that it is, there will be an option up here to show hidden files up here at the top. Uh, so that is how you show that. So you want to go into app data, app data, local. Go to Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Saved. Config. Windows, no editor. If you've paid attention during the uh, during the daily glitch, you already know this path. Gamer user settings. This is your config file. So go ahead and open that bad boy up. Okay, I've nice I have it nice and zoomed in for you. This is your config file. This is your config file. I'm gonna show you things that are important if you're wanting to make a uh, better experience for your dead by daylight and what things you can kind of ignore. So pay attention closely. Okay, so the biggest thing, the biggest section, the biggest area that you want to pay attention to is the scalability groups. This is this is where you will get the most out of your changes. So Everything here, you know, aside from the resolution, of course, the view distance quality, anti-aliasing quality, shadow quality, all that stuff. Now you can see that it is now separated into different sections, whereas like in-game, it's only high, low, etc. Now we have, you know, all the different stuff, all the shadow control, the animation control, the like the quality of the textures, all that wonderful stuff. Now you can actually edit that stuff individually. But how do I do that, uh, Mr. YouTuber? Okay, so... Everything you see here works on a scalability level of 0 to 5. 0 is like the barest bones. If you're running at 0, you need the most help. You say, I literally am giving up on this aspect of the game because I really need the most performance. So 0 is like the lowest setting. If you set up to 5, you're you're you're, you're, you're going nuts. You, you have a very, very nice PC and you say, man, I want DBD to be firing on all cylinders. This is the highest quality possible. So you, you want to mix and match based on that. Things that you could probably cut. Things that you could probably cut or lower. Shadow quality. The shadows start to look more pixelated as you go down, but if you set it to like two, like one or two, it's honestly not going to look that bad. Uh, Anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing kind of looks, and this might be a hot take, I think anti-aliasing in this game looks very bad. There's there's ways to do anti-aliasing correctly, but in Dead by Daily, it's kind of just like this weird, like, blurry effect. So, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I sacrifice there because I'm just like, it looks bad anyway, might as well uh, put that down to one. View distance, I know some people care a lot about view distance, but honestly, I feel like DVD is the kind of game where you need to really, really focus on like what's happening immediately around you. So I've put that down to two, which is kind of like comparable to like medium in terms of quality. Now, in everything else though, like the textures and the effects, I put that all the way up to four because obviously I think that's like the most important part of the game. That's where I think the game will look like, that's where the game looks the nicest. So I really want to pump those up and really, you know, burst those out. And the reason those are able to look as good as they do is because we have, you know, saved the time and space and quality uh, on the other stuff. So that's kind of what I would sacrifice. Obviously you don't want to like just sacrifice your texture and your animations and stuff too much too much um i would put that like at like three but obviously this depends on your hardware right because if you're running it on a like a like a uh, a laptop that's meant for school you'll probably have all of these at like one or two but you can like mix and match and that sort of thing and hopefully not zero but you know we all have different situations um but obviously like i said if you have like a high-end rig you could just pump this stuff up up to five you know <laughs> you can you can put that all the way up also also little known fact you can't actually 
uh, down here with screen resolution, you can actually pump up your screen resolution, which is interesting because like the slider in game is just like zero to a hundred, uh, but you can pump it even farther past that. You can put it uh, up above uh, 100. Uh, th the weird thing is like this game doesn't really like <laughs> like it when you do this, so um, don't put it too high. <laughs> don't don't put it too high. Um, the game doesn't really like when you do that, so uh, I would definitely not go crazy with this. But that, that option is there for you if you have a, a super higher end PC. Uh, you can you can definitely just like go nuts with that probably. But uh, you know that's not my experience, so I can't really like account for that. Okay, this is probably the other big one. The other big one you want to take notice of is the frame rate limit the frame rate limit obviously this is dependent on like like obviously your setup and the uh monitors that you have but you can uh your frame rate by default is set to zero your frame rate by default is set to zero um but if you want a smoother gameplay experience and you can run it uh i would set this to 120 i would set it to 120 if you set that to 120 ooh, ooh, experience is gonna be much nicer much 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 nicer uh, otherwise, uh, just set it at zero. Just set it at zero. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> like, like you just you can just leave it at zero. Otherwise, but if you want that uh, smoother frame rate, uh, I recommend 120 is what you set it at. But yeah, this is your config file. So basically, anything that is in game, like the colorblind mode, the HUD scale, all that stuff is here. You can always find that stuff here. Um, in terms of the actual like uh important stuff if you're wanting to like make your game run smoother mostly it's the scalability groups but also you know tldr keep in mind that you know the screen resolution is also here and also your frame rate limit is down here so those are kind of the the important things you want to look at if you're trying to like make your game run better uh because you know naturally it kind of doesn't <laughs> even on pc uh which is just a painful thing to say for a game that's out in modern times but hey it's okay we're gonna make it work but yeah, hopefully you found that helpful, friendo, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if this helped you and what kind of settings that you're setting up with your uh, Dead by Daylight and how you're making things run better for you. Um, if you liked this video, and there's a way to actually like, like the thing, and also you can sub if you want to stick around for a while, or not. You know, you can take those back anytime. They're not permanent. Not permanent. We are trying to grow the channel and make things better. Uh, we are trying to, you know, grind hard at the YouTube as well as grinding hard at the Twitch, which is hard to do concurrently at the same time. But, you know, we're making it work. We're making it work. So I really appreciate the support, friendo. Otherwise, I don't think I have anything else for you. Hopefully this helped you, bud. And if I don't see you in the next video, I will see you when I see you, friends. Bye-bye.